Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be teaching you how to download and install Lightmatica, which by the way is the updated version of Schematica in Minecraft 1.18.1. Unfortunately the original Schematica mod is no longer supported, so Lightmatica picked up the torch and has all the features Schematica had and more for you to enjoy and use. So overall if you're searching for Schematica, you found this video and I'm talking about Lightmatica, that is why. Lightmatica is what you now need to be using in Minecraft 1.18.1 and that's what we're going to be installing in this video. First things first though, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and check out our sponsor Apex Minecraft hosting at the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. This is our very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much that we host our own server, play at our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your own Minecraft server, check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Lightmatica. You can go to the second link down below and that's going to take you here. This is our tutorial on how to get Lightmatica on our website, but once you're here, just click on this yellow download Lightmatica button. That will then take you to Lightmatica's official download page here, where we want to look at the right-hand side, and scroll down until we find the Minecraft 1.18 section. By the way, if you want to know how to use Lightmatica once you're in-game, this video right here is going to help you a ton. Get installed here with the video you're watching, and then come to Lightmatica's page and watch this video on how to actually use Lightmatica once it gets in-game. They do a much better job of teaching that than I could. Nevertheless, we're going to go over to the right-hand side, scroll down to Minecraft 1.18, and then find Lightmatica Fabric 1.18. Click on the orange download button the right here, and it will start downloading Lightmatica after a few seconds. Depending on your browser, you may need to keep this in the bottom left. Usually on Google Chrome, you'll need to keep it in the bottom left or save it in the super screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now, Lightmatica requires the Molly Lib mod in order to run. Molly Lib is basically just a library mod, which you can find linked in the description down below. Once you're here, scroll down and click on the download Molly Lib. Once you click on that, it's going to take you to the official Molly Lib download page, which will look very similar to Lightmatica's download page because they're hosted on the same website. Come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.18 and then click on the orange download button next to the version under that. The download will begin after a few seconds and just like Lightmatica, you'll need to keep it or save save it depending on your browser. Now we are completely finished downloading just yet. We still need to download Fabric, which you guessed it's also linked in the description down below. And once you're here on our website on how to get Fabric, this is our in-depth guide. We go over everything, but if you do have any issues, any questions about getting Fabric, this tutorial here will most likely answer those. Nevertheless, let's go and click the download Fabric button here, this yellow button. When you click on that, it's going to take us to Fabric's official download page where we want to click on this download universal jar. It's harder to see, but it's right there. And the reason we're doing that is because that is basically the easier way, in my opinion, to get this installed for everyone. So now let's go ahead and click on the download universal jar there. And when we download that, it's going to download Fabric in the bottom left. And you guess it, you might need to keep it, you might need to save it, depending on your browser. Finally, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and we need to get these files to our desktop just for ease of use. To do that, you want to click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. If you're on Windows 11, though, it'll be in the center of your screen. Go on that little Windows icon, type in downloads, have this downloads file folder here. Open that up and drag and drop Fabric, Miley Lib, and Lightmatica to your desktop. Now, now, if your files look different from mine, guess what? That's perfectly okay. I'm going to show you how to fix that in a second, but first, let's see if we can open up Fabric at all. To do that, right-click on it, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. Now, if you don't have Java here, just keep watching. We're going to fix it, and click on OK. Nevertheless, at this point, Minecraft, or Fabric, excuse me, will open up if you have the correct version of Java. Sometimes you can have Java, click OK, and it still won't work, and that's because you don't have Java 17. Java 17 is required must have it in order to run Fabric and Fabric Mods in Minecraft 1.18.1. So here's our in-depth guide. It's in the description down below. It goes over how to get Java 17 installed. If you're having issues with Forge, get Java. If your icons are weird, get Java, right? If they're not the Java icons, get this version of Java. Then once you've done that, you may still need to run the jar fix. That's going to take those jar files and link them to Java, make them work together. But you need Java no matter what if you can't open up Fabric. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and right click on Fabric again, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. And now that you have Java 17, it's going to open up the Fabric installer. Now we want to make sure 1.18.1 is selected here. And if it is, go ahead and click on Install, and boom, there we go. Successfully installed Fabric. The only reason you might have an issue here is if you've not played Minecraft 1.18.1 before, go do that, come back, and you'll be good to go. Click OK, and it will close out of that, and we can close out of the Fabric installer. You can also delete the Fabric installer from your desktop. You don't need it. Now we need to install these mods. Let's go ahead and click the little Windows icon again. Top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, in the center of your screen on Windows 11, and then type in Run, R-U-N. You have this Run app here. Go ahead and click on that, and it will open up right like so. We then in here want to type percent sign, app data percent sign, percent app data percent, exactly like that, and click OK. Once we've done that, it's going to open up the roaming folder here, where we want to go ahead and click on the .minecraft folder. Then we should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Well, guess what? I don't have one either. So go ahead, right click, create a new 
folder, and title of this folder, mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like this. Now go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder and drag and drop like Matica and Molly Lib into this mods folder, right like so. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, but don't click play right away. You need to make sure you've got the fabric installation selected. Most likely this will be selected automatically when you load up Minecraft, but just in case it isn't, I'm gonna show you how to get it, right? So here we go, we do have Fabric Loader 1.18.1 automatically selected. If that's the case, click play and click play again. You're good to go. However, if you don't have it here, click this arrow and you may be able to select it. If you still don't have it, click on installations at the top and make sure mod is checked. As you can see, I clicked on modded, unchecked it I should say, and fabric is gone. Click on it again, there is fabric. However, if you still don't have Fabric 1.18.1, what you wanna do is click on new installation. Then you wanna name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our own incredible 1.18.1 server. You should come play on it. Survival, Skyblock, it's amazing. Nevertheless, we then want to click the version drop down box and select release, fabric loader, and then to the end 1.18.1. Mine's at the top. You may need to scroll down a ways to find yours. Then I'm going to change my resolution. You don't have to do that, but what you do have to do is make sure fabric loader 1.18.1 is selected under version, then click create in the bottom right. We now have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile with the fabric loader under it. Hover over it, click the green play button, confirm you're playing modded Minecraft, and click play again. Now Minecraft 1.18.1 is going to open up with Lightmatica installed. It's that simple and that easy to get Lightmatica up and running with the Fabric Mod Loader. Unfortunately, one of the downsides of Fabric is there's no mods tab, so we can't easily see from the main menu, but we'll jump in game and showcase a few features of the Lightmatica mod. So from this point forward, I'm not going to do any jump cuts. I'm just going to kind of keep it running because I want you to know everything's live. Everything's working. Everything is going good for Lightmatica. So we're just kind of sitting back and waiting until this opens. I know it's not the most entertaining thing. Normally, I would do a jump cut here, but I always like to leave it running live when we're installing these mods. Let's go ahead and jump into the multiplayer here. We can actually jump into any one we want. We'll jump into this one, and then we should be able to use Lightmatica without any problems. That being said, I'm going to have to figure out what the Lightmatica key is. I had uh, forgotten that off the top of my head. So let me go figure that out real fast and uh, then we'll be good to go. So by default, M plus C is how you can open up this menu and start using Lightmatica. Now, like I said, I am, and by the way, here are the other hotkeys that you can use. By the way, like I said, I am by no means an expert on using Lightmatica in game, but there is a tutorial on Lightmatica's download page that you can use. If you go to this page right here, this is this at the very, very bottom of the Lightmatica basically download page. Uh, this amazing tutorial here will, will help you out. Nevertheless, though, at this point, we can go ahead and in this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Enjoy Lightmatica. It's an amazing mod. And again, M plus C on your keyboard at the same time to kind of get things rocking and rolling. Anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Enjoy Schematica for Minecraft 1.18.1, and I am out. Peace.